what's good you lot welcome back to the channel we got 1960 by lyrical joe now mind you this is nigeria's independence year first of october 1960 and first of october which is my birthday <laughs> so i gotta know this so let's check this one out Dead. Step to the fire, get roasted. Uh, Working on water, I floated. Uh, Still got the world on my shoulders. Put you in a place that you don't wanna be. Better be blind, cause this is what you don't wanna see. Top 10, top 5, convo is ripped. Cause I'm giving the fuck, I don't wanna give. Men to the side. Girl. Go dead, step to the fire, get roasted. Like, I got roasting, and also, roasting somebody is like criticizing them. Like, as a joke, or you could be serious. You know, there are shows where. They call something the roast show. So, yeah, making jokes about somebody. So he's going to talk about you now. Despite having the weight of the world on his shoulders, he still walked on water and he floated. Yeah, that's mad. That's mad. You coming for Sakodi, you're putting yourself in a position that you do not want to be because you know, I'm going to ride for Sakodi. So for you to talk shit about Sakodi, you want smoke that you cannot deal with. You're going to wish that you were blind because you don't want to see what I'm going to do to you. Hmm. All these numberings, top five, top ten, who's doing better than who, that shit is rigged. But you're making him start to care about it because it seems like it's so important to you. Now I'm going to show you that I'm the top of the topest. Yeah? Top one. Go dead. Step to the fire, get roasted. Walking on water, I floated. Still got the world on my shoulders. You in a place that you don't wanna be Better be blind cause this is what you don't wanna see Top 10, top 5, convo is ripped Cause I'm giving the fuck I don't wanna give Men to the side, girls to the side We wear the rap game, y'all are yet to decide Afrobeat slay queens trying to engage in the rap Marital affairs, bitch you aside <laughs> Welcome to the land of past I went to many bad You've had the saying, married to the game So Ghana is already married to the game And you are still undecided, the Nigerians So why are you getting involved in marital affairs when you're just the side chick? Side chicks should not talk when the husband and the wife are talking. You should be quiet, okay? Cause I'm giving the fuck I don't wanna give. Men to the side, girls to the side. We wear the rap game, y'all are yet to decide. Afrobeat slay queens trying to engage in the rap marital affairs, bitch you aside. <laughs> Welcome to the land of bars. I went through many battles and I healed them scars. If this was a keyboard, you tried to be harsh, little nigga. But we only pressing your stars. So young man, this is like a Welcome to the land of bars, and that's Ghana for you, cause this is not no Afro nation. We're known for our hip hop. He went through a lot of battles and he healed scars. Like in the rap scene, he's been through so much. He's had a lot of rap beefs in this rap scene. So this is nothing to him. This is light work. If this was a keyboard, you tried to be harsh. Like you tried to act tough. But also it could be you tried to be harsh. Be quiet. Cause we're only pressing your stars now you're trying to be a superstar by dissing us but once we press your star your star is not going to shine anymore it's like you're going to be dead and gone and i heal them scars if this was a keyboard you try to be harsh little nigga but we only pressing your stars so young man this is like election in your own land because if you run against that got you feeling like peter obi you about to get beaten by an old man <laughs> old man Dream on, you gotta take and that is very funny because Kenya had Twitter beef with Nigeria and we really dissed their president because this guy is always falling asleep because of how old he is. Ooh, sorry to say. It's like you're trying to run against Sakodi, like the older candidate who was running against a younger candidate in Nigeria for the presidential bid and the older guy won. So Sakodi is going to win <laughs> in this rap thing as well. Okay, okay. That is fire, that is fire. We're friends. Man, this is like election in your own land. Cause if you run against shot, got you feeling like Peter Obi, you about to get beaten by an old man. Old man, Dreamo. You got attention from Ghana, it must be a Dreamo. But I'm putting you back to sleep going Dreamo. I'm a nightmare, hi Dreamo. Did I say it well? Is it Dreamo? Huh? You could have saved the energy <laughs> for the power out, but you're trying to be a... Yo, yo, LJ is just crazy with this double entendres in one place. Dremo getting attention from the Ghana artist must be a dream of his, a dream come true to get like feedback from all these great artists like LJ responding to him. That is such an honor. Yeah, he's honored to 
even get a response from you. <laughs> so since your name is Dremo, or is it Dremo, he's putting you back to sleep, but he's a nightmare. So you're not going to have good sleep because LJ will be in your dreams as well. And also what I just referenced before, the president of Nigeria really likes sleeping. So Dremo, he's always in dreamland. <laughs> funny, that is funny. You about to get beaten by an old man, old man. Dreamo, you got attention from Ghana, it must be a Dreamo But I'm putting you back to sleep going Dreamo I'm a nightmare, hi Dreamo Did I say it well, is it Dreamo? Huh? You could have saved the energy for the power out But you're trying to be a beef generator The rap game in your country is still merry merry So watch the Holy Ghost penetrate I do this for the motherland, so let it marry You could have saved your energy for when the power goes out You know, and see with that light But instead, you chose to be a beef generator you're starting beef with people instead of generating power for your country. Ooh wee, ooh wee, that is nasty work. The rap game in your country is like the Virgin Mary. So watch the Holy Ghost penetrates cause Mary was a virgin when she got pregnant by baby Jesus. <laughs> you're not a virgin no more. You're gonna have a baby by the Holy Ghost, damn. Huh? You could have saved the energy for the power out, but you're trying to be a beef generator. The rap game in your country is still merry merry, so watch the Holy Ghost penetrate. I do this for the motherland, so let it marry. Since you coming from the fatherland, it means you got balls. But let the nigga that birth your jump, and I won't let your fatherland out. Put you in the trance, I'll let your boy like wheeze. Don't come. Out. LG says he does this for the motherland. The motherland is Africa. Since you're coming from the fatherland, let it marry, let it go together. So that means you got balls because, you know, the father got what? Yeah, so that they can make the, the baby, the baby. He talked about balls giving birth, fatherland, and put somebody in a trance. When the father lands, he's going to birth somebody. The balls contains the things that make the babies. So I believe he's not going to let hip hop get birth in Nigeria he won't let the father land because he said he's doing this for the motherland. He won't let the fatherland produce uh, kids, like hip hop kids. He'll put you in a trance. He might be talking about, he might make you all transgender. Being in a trance, T-R-A-N-C-E, is a condition where you're not fully conscious. It's like a mental condition. Ghost penetrator. I do this for the motherland. So let it marry since you coming from the fatherland. It means you got balls. But let the nigga that birth your jump and I won't let your fatherland out. Put you in the trance. I'll let your boy like wheeze. Don't come at ass with them feminine steez in your voice. And if I ever flow like a bitch, you'll be hot enough to put your star boy at every door on his knees. Shout out to someone literally ice is cold. But I there was a viral clip of Davido on his knees crying to a girl because he was begging for the mm-hmm, you know what. <laughs> Starboy is Wizkid who was making fun of Davido uh, because of how he went on his knees begging. They were having a little beef. And Davido is considered a star boy in Nigeria. So he said, if I ever flow like a biatch, then I'll be hard enough to make Davido go on his knees. And he's talking to Davido because I understand that Dremo is a signee to Davido's label. Mm-hmm. You'll be hot enough to put your star boy every door on his knees. Shout out to somebody, literally ice is cold. But I heard a nigga said I'm not ice, I'm cold. Well, this is shot on shot. I just put you in the blanket since you're not ice but cold. I'm running through the motherfucking industry with it. He said shout out to Ice Prince Zamani. Ice Prince Zamani is cold with his bars and the way he does things. But this Dremo guy... He's not Ice Prince, Zamani, but he says he's cold with his bars. But you really are not cold, so he's going to wrap you up in a blanket. Because you need some warmth. <laughs> To somebody literally ice is cold But I heard a nigga said I'm not ice, I'm cold Well, this is shot on shot I just put you in a blanket Since you're not ice, but cold I'm running through the motherfucking industry We take it for the seven millimeter in the chemistry The cemetery, I buried everybody very brutally The lyrical juggernaut is bringing it up beyond the monetary You don't wanna catch He said he's running through the Nigerian music industry With an AK-47 millimeter He's shooting up everybody, burying them Everybody, so basically he's calling out all the rappers in Niger, do something. Do something. 
to do something, <laughs> you ain't gonna do shit. I can't see you not ice, but cold. I'm running through the motherfucking industry. We take it for the seven millimeter in the chemistry, the cemetery. I buried everybody very brutally. The lyrical juggernaut is bringing it up beyond the monetary. You don't wanna catch rap, this is like cancer. It's gonna be hard to get back to Afro. We already know y'all didn't get hard. We rap, so y'all hard to go and use Afro. That's your dizzy act. Reply hard and we can get busier. I mean, you and whoever wanna rap with me, we can dig more deep. It gets pity. Really, I'm saying you a fuck boy. Hold on. You do not want to touch rap because it's like cancer. It's going to be hard to get back to Afro. When you have cancer, your hair falls off. So it's going to be hard to get back your hair growing when you're going through chemotherapy. Basically, he's just talking about the rap scene and the Afro music scene, Afro beats. So your rap scene is whack. You couldn't get hard. So you had to go get hard with Afro beats. And that is your aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac could be food or a drink that stimulates your sexual desires. You could not be stimulated to get hard in hip hop, so you went for the easier route, which was Afrobeats. He said, whenever your rap is hard, now we can get busier, we can do the back and forth. But also, as a double entendre, it means the other way as well. I don't gotta say it. He called him a fuck boy, and he said, you can even go ask MI. We push boys, we don't chalk boys chocolate city boys they push boys to work harder they don't choke boys okay that's what he said we can get busier i mean you and whoever wanna rap with me we can dig more deep it gets pity I really i'm saying you a fuck boy ask am i we push boys we don't talk boys i got the rap game on my laptop say you they come from Niger. do it like the fraud boys i told boys Ooh. wrong toys in a convoy we he said he got the rap scene on his lap yeah like he's been doing this for a long time it's like rap and him have an understanding like holding my baby but also like the nigerian fraud boys who always have their laptops on their lap trying to scam people get the money we have romance scams and money scams that they try to you know they're in little rooms with their laptops trying to scam people crazy and that's a, actually a job for people we push boys we don't talk boys i got the rap game on my laptop say you they come from niger do it like the fraud boys i told boys wrong choice in a calm voice with no noise hot boys we no watch toys they stay void move forward i'm a rap boy i'm in for the long ride like a limousine please bring your convoy ah, go uh, dead. step to the so lj told you calmly he's the wrong one to mess with because you already know that he's a rap poet he goes crazy with this rap thing he said he's in it for the long ride like a limousine bring your convoy you know a limousine is long so he's saying i'm the limousine you're the convoys convoys can consist of many cars so many rappers all of your come i'm the limousine and i'm gonna deal with you because i'm in for the long ride if you want to take it there we can take it there one versus 20. one car one limousine versus the convoy crazy I mean you and whoever wanna rap with me, we can dig more deep it gets pity. I really I'm saying you a fuck boy. Ask am I we push boys, we don't talk boys. I got a rap game on my laptop. Say you they come from Niger, do it like the fraud boys. I told boys, wrong choice in a calm voice. With no noise, hot boys, we no watch toys. They stay void, move forward, I'm a rap boy. I'm in for the long ride like a limousine. Please bring your convoy. Ah, go dead. Step to the fire, get roasted. Walking on water, I floated. Still got the world on my shoulders. Young nigga, I'm go dead. Step to the fire, get roasted. Walking on water, I floated. Still got the world on my shoulders. Beast. Beast. He said what he said. So I don't know if Dremo responded to this one or he only did one diss track. My advice to Dremo is go sit down somewhere. You do not want to beef with LJ because that shit is crazy. He's going to eat you alive. No Diddy. <laughs> Yes, Tursky. So like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all in the next video. Peace y'all.